I felt that you know we played a bit different tonight. We we wanted to be a bit more defensive and, and try and protect ourselves. Uh, I think we're effective for 45 minutes. The 15, 20 minutes credit to Sky Blue after the second half, they came out guns blazing, and they would have made some adjustments, and and we could see the adjustments, and and we're clever enough to to adjust as well. But we just weren't. I don't think we physically had it to get close to them. You know, players that weren't getting two or three yards in the first half straight away in the second half suddenly were getting two or three yards, and we couldn't get the ball for for 10-15 minutes and that goal came obviously um, towards the end of that spell which was disappointing and then it just turned into a bit of chaos turned into what what the last few games has been about which is just give everything and try and force something and can we steal a goal and and we we're lucky not to obviously concede again thanks to Chantel Jones who stepped in just before kickoff who was absolutely incredible um, it's just not falling for us up there you know we had a couple of chances in the first half we had a couple more in the second half one clear cut one that that, that goes wide um, but we're fighting, and we won't stop fighting. And that's the, you know, I've never seen, I've never seen a set of players go through, you know, the amount of um, bad things in, in results than this lot this season. I've only been here for a few weeks, and the things that we've gone through together. But no one's cheating, no one's hiding, everyone's given everything. Wednesday was a blip in that stuff, but tonight we're back, fighting for each other, giving everything we could. Well, I mean, it was a very difficult situation, uh, needing a win against a team that, uh, in the past, they've been really good at defending the first 30 minutes, and. Uh, you know, once they're broken, they seem to be a little bit easier. But uh, you know, both teams are fatigued from uh, game in midweek, and we were particularly fatigued. Uh, you know, having three games in seven days with a trip to Portland in between. But I think uh, the team played well in the second half once we sorted out how to kind of break them down and get around them on the on the, on the flanks. And uh, you know, having Ashley Nick go in there freed Sophie to get a little more into the attack. But uh, you know, I thought our midfield did really well, and. Uh, you know, our, our back line did well against their speed, and you know, as long as we continue to create chances, um, you know, we get three points, I, I'll take one nothing. You know, that's one of the reasons we signed her, is she's, she'll be an easy fit for the team. She's, um, you know, really, really good for our team chemistry, and she'll, she'll fit in quickly. Um, most times you bring players in this year, it's, it's kind of too late for them to feel integrated, and, you know, that's part of her personality, is she can step right in and, and perform well, and, you know, Having played and won a championship is great, but more importantly, she's been playing games and uh, you know on a weekly basis and been training and fit. I was a little bit jittery at first. Just it's natural to be nervous a little bit, but I mean, I I talked to my defense, so they felt more comfortable, and in turn, they they saved me a couple of times, and I was able to make a few saves, so I was happy with that. A little disappointed on the goal, but it was kind of unlucky. She was in the right place at the right time, and that's kind of been our season this year, but. We'll take it. We played a great game and we can build off this one for sure. It's testing our character. You really find out a lot about people when you're losing games. It's easy to, to be happy and, and to be positive when you're winning every game, but you really see what you're made of when you have to go through something like this. And it's been frustrating, but we've learned a lot about ourselves and um, we're going to build a lot and we're going to come out even stronger next year. It feels good to, I mean, we're not in the playoffs, but we can ruin some seasons. So that's another plus. And we're home, and we have really great fans. They come out for everything, even win or lose. They tweet us. They're supporting us. So it'll be nice to end the season with them. Hopefully get a win at home, but we'll see. Take it game by game. The team did awesome tonight. Uh, it was definitely a grind. We needed to just come back out here and get back on the field after that loss against Portland this week and tough travel. Tough travel week for us, so to get a win tonight was awesome. Um, it's one step closer to the playoffs, which is our, our goal, and we'll go from there. Obviously, it's weighing on our minds, and we really want to make the playoffs, but we want to win every game, and that's our goal, is to get three points at every game and, and just go from there and see if we can get first place still um, in the regular season so we can get a home field advantage. Oh, it's amazing. I don't think I stopped smiling for the whole 90 minutes. <laughs> it's great to be back out there. It's great to have an opportunity. Um, I'm really lucky because Brittany did an amazing job all season long, and um, I'm just hoping to take this opportunity and, and run with it and really lead this team to a, to a championship. We'll have to see what the, what the health of everybody is. I mean, it's, uh, you know, you don't want to put it off and rest and, and throw this game away. Uh, Chicago's still in the hunt, so... Um, you know, you don't want to have to have it come down to the last game. So, likely with a week to prepare, we'll probably go out there and, and try to get the three points and, and, and win it with, with things that we can control rather than looking at other people's results.